guests and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Welcome to your hometown health show, brought to you by Trilogy Home Healthcare, the industry leader with over 30 years of experience in providing home health care services such as skilled nursing, physical and occupational therapy, home health aides, and other specialized care to your homes throughout the state. Please tune in every other week as we bring you a range of good information from specialists in the field to help make you more informed and living healthy. Welcome, everyone, and you are listening to your hometown health Hi, show. Uh, I'm Yolanda Santana, your host for the evening. As our special guest tonight, we have Dr. Kevin Schrock from Orthopedic Surgeon, an orthopedic surgeon from, uh, sorry, uh, Fort Lauderdale, uh, orthopedic surgery and sports medicine. And we also have Stephanie Houston, home health coordinator with Trilogy Home Healthcare. Welcome, both of you. Good evening. Just so everyone knows, we're also live on WWNN 1470 AM, 95.3 FM, 96.9 FM, and 103.9 FM as well as live. So, welcome again. And Dr. Shock, why don't you start by telling our listeners a little bit about yourself and your practice at Fort Lauderdale Orthopedic Surgery and Sports Medicine? Sorry, we're having a little bit of a delay here. Well, the first thing I... Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, sorry about that. That's much better. Somehow we seem to have a very fidgety connection, so maybe I've moved to a better place. So I'm Dr. Kevin Schrock. Um, I'm the uh, head of the uh, Fort Lauderdale Orthopedic Surgery and Sports Medicine Practice in Fort Lauderdale. Um, I uh, grew up in Chicago, but I went to college at Yale. I went and got my medical degree at Stanford, and I did my orthopedic residency at Harvard. I did a sports medicine fellowship in Southern California, and I've been in Florida ever since, since uh, 1994. Um, our practice has been in the same locations uh, since 1978, so 42 years serving the patients wow. of South Florida. And Dr. Matthew Wells has been with me for 14 years, and we're actually expecting a total joint surgeon to move across the country from San Francisco to join us later this year, pandemic notwithstanding, of course. So uh, I'll tell you a little bit about my practice. Uh, we're located uh, south of, of, uh, of downtown Fort Lauderdale, across from Broward Health Medical Center, formerly known as Broward General. And uh, in addition to our doctors, we have two certified PAs, physician assistants, who are orthopedic trained. Uh, they assist in surgery. They see patients in the office. They also work in our orthopedic walk-in. We have two physical therapists in the office on site. And we have a very, very, very quiet open MRI scanner, which is especially helpful for the patients who are claustrophobic. Uh, we have a digital x-ray, which gives us instant x-ray viewing and reduced x-ray exposure. Uh, and as I mentioned, part of our office is dedicated to an orthopedic walk-in clinic. And that's where patients can be seen with orthopedic problems, with urgent orthopedic issues and injuries without an appointment. They just need to come in and we can take care of them just as if they had an appointment and take care of whatever the problem is. Uh, lastly, our practice also provides state-of-the-art orthopedic clinical research as we help further medical knowledge and we bring new treatment options to the general public. Our patients have an opportunity to participate in a lot of those studies that aren't yet out there for the general public to utilize. And that's kind of Goodness. about me in the practice. <laughs> That's great. So how did you end up in, why did you choose orthopedics? Well, that's a very long, complicated story, but um, I guess I go back to growing up in the 60s and 70s. All of us, of course, participated in lots of different sports. I did judo and little league and ice hockey. Uh, growing up in Chicago, we had the Blackhawks, and so I was an avid fan, but eventually I fell in love with gymnastics. Uh, of course, as a gymnast, 
growing up, you get a lot of growth problems. And I had knee and elbow problems. And I just found that most orthogens were very dismayed. They told me just to go into swimming, tennis or something. And I refused. I loved the gym. So I mean, a few years later, I was doing, I was in a, in a championship high school and he dislocated my elbow. So I needed surgery. I went to see a doctor uh, named Dr. Sweeney. Uh, in Evanston, Illinois, who had a very athlete-centric approach. He fixed me. He actually went on to become the president of the Arthros Association um, very, very well. And uh, I went on to have a very successful gymnastics collegiate career. I continued as a coach first uh, after I graduated college. And then I've been treating uh, injured athletes, especially gymnasts, since then. Um, but if you want to fast forward 30 years, I was uh, at a conference in my hotel in Florida in a room with about 300 people. And I suddenly found myself sitting next to this person. I looked at his name tag and it said, Dr. Sweeney. Uh, he was, of course, long since retired. But at the end of the lecture, I reintroduced, uh, reintroduced myself and caught him up on everything that had happened since my surgery 30 years prior. And I can tell you that the look on his face, the look of satisfaction when I, when he realized the impact that he'd had both on my career as an athlete as well as my career choice was just absolutely so wonderful to watch. And it, it was really wonderful to kind of impart that uh, sense of gratitude um, for him having helped me get to where I had gotten 30 years down the line. And I can tell you, I've been fortunate to have felt really the same kind of feeling with um, many of my patients over the years. So I, I definitely know I made the right career choice for me. Oh, I can't hear you. Yolanda, we can't hear you. Uh-oh. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> All right. So tell our listeners and viewers a little bit more about the services that you offer at your practice. Yep. Well, um, I will say we are board certified and fellowship trained surgeons, but we're not really knife happy or very aggressive about surgery. We're first and foremost orthopedists rather than just surgeons. And we pride ourselves in treating patients conservatively, resorting to surgery only when it's clearly indicated or necessary. Um, I think our role is that first of a diagnostician to figure out the patient's problem. Uh, very often it's from exam, from history, but we can get x-rays when necessary. We do MRIs, other tests, we do injections, which are helpful diagnostically as well. And then once we've come up with a diagnosis, uh, we serve as educators. We teach our patients about their problems. We like to use anatomic models. We I think we're having a little bit of a technical difficulty. Did I get disconnected there? It just Am lagged a little bit. <laughs> You're back, yeah. Oh, okay. So basically, yeah, so basically we manage pretty much the full spectrum of orthopedics, both surgical and non-surgical. We offer arthroscopy, sports medicine, cartilage restoration, ligament reconstruction, and joint replacement, trauma and fracture care. Um, I do a lot, lot of second opinions and do consultations for patient problems that didn't work out, uh, failed some bad outcomes, challenge. Sorry about the de technical difficulties. Dr. Shock, you there? surgery is really necessary. So we're kind of the patient's best friend in coaching them and directing them without necessarily uh, trying to push them towards surgery. Wow, that's great. So now living in South Florida, being accommodating culturally is vital. How have you adapted to the needs of the community? 
Well, South Florida is a very multicultural area, and obviously there's probably more Spanish-speaking, um, non-English speakers in South Florida than anything else, but there's also Creole-speaking patients and patients from uh, Brazil speak Portuguese. So what we do have is we have uh, a number of Spanish and multilingual doctors, physician assistants, therapists, office staff, and then we also have access to translators that can come in either in person or by phone. We have sign language translators for those who need who need that uh, service. So we can treat and, and take care of pretty much any patient with any cultural background and language. Uh, we see patients from young kids all the way up to uh, seniors. Um, we serve the uh, uninsured and underinsured in Broward County. Uh, we do participate in the various clinics at Broward Health that serve that patient population. And in order to serve them, even when they're not in the hospital, we have a very affordable self pay pricing, uh, pricing schedule, which we list on our website. So patients who need care, but don't have insurance or have a, a very high copay can come to see us in an office rather than end up in the emergency room with extremely high bills that they really don't need the ER for. Um, I also served um, internationally. I, I was a volunteer after the earthquake, went to Haiti and treated patients at the Albert Schweitzer Hospital in Des Chapelle. That was a very interesting experience and really called on a lot of the trauma experience I'd had at Broward and a lot of the training I had in Boston to uh, take care of things that I couldn't have imagined before going there. Um, and lastly, you know, we have a very, very complicated health uh, system and every day it changes, the rules change. So about 10, 12 years ago, I became involved first in the Florida Orthopedic Society, which is the state orthopedic society that does a lot of advocacy for patient rights in the orthopedic community, both here in Florida. And then later on, I was uh, elected to the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgery Board of Counselors and have served for the last seven years uh, on, on the board and the last three years on the executive board. And we address legislation that affects patient care in Tallahassee, across the nation. So we go to Washington and lobby our congressional representatives in the House and Senate. And the whole goal is to try and ensure that patients can be continued to be treated uh, to the best of our abilities. And we're not handcuffed, not be, being able to treat those patients the way we need to. Wow, that sounds wonderful. We need more like you. On that note, though, we're going to take a short commercial break and we'll be right back after these messages. Trilogy was established in 2016 by industry experts with over 30 years in home health care operations spanning 30 plus counties throughout the state of Florida. With offices in Jacksonville, Port St. Lucie, West Palm Beach, we strive to provide the most optimal care to our patients in a fun, forward thinking environment. Our focus is on personal relationships, whether with an employee, a patient, or an outside community. Because we know that when people enjoy what they do, it becomes why they do it. Call Trilogy today at 954-689-6660 and ask for more information. In addition to offering the standard mix of services, SN, PT, OT, Speech, MSW, and HHA, we also take great pride in being on the cutting edge and offering care and education to our licensed clinicians in other areas most agencies likely don't offer, emotional and behavioral health with our psych nursing, biofeedback for bladder incontinence and pelvic pain, chemotherapy, IV hydration, antibiotic and respiratory therapy. Call today at 954-689-6660, Trilogy Home Care. You have been listening to the Trilogy Home Health Show, and if you wish to be a guest on our show, please call us at 561-670-9213 and let us share your knowledge and information with our listeners. Trilogy Home Health Care Show enjoys serving the community and bringing doctors and facilities of interest to help educate and inform the community. Please call us at 561-670-9213 and let us put you on the airwaves with the Trilogy Home Health Show. Hello and welcome back. Again, you're uh, listening and you're watching uh, your home hometown health show and I'm Yolanda Santana, IT consultant for All Bits Tech. Welcome back guys. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, I, before I, I delve back in with you, Dr. Schrock, uh, Stephanie, could you tell us a little bit about uh, Trilogy Home Healthcare and how you guys work? 
Sure, absolutely. So Trilogy Home Healthcare is a Medicare certified agency. We service uh, folks in almost the whole state of Florida for different services in the home, such as a visiting nurse, physical therapy, occupational therapy, uh, respiratory therapy, uh, medical social worker, and other services as well. Thank you for that. So sure. Dr. Shock, if you could, I think you talked a little bit about the clinical trial studies that uh, you do. Did you want to delve into that a little bit more? Sure. It's, uh, it's actually a very interesting part of, uh, of uh, clinical practice. Personally, I believe that we see so many patients with so many problems. It's really up to us to help push forward the, the development of new treatments for patients. And we have a lot of patients with very interesting problems in South Florida because we have such a wide, diverse cultural uh, a group of uh, patients, a group of uh, cohorts. So we've been conducting multi-center and multinational uh, orthopedic clinical studies for about 12 years. We've now been involved in probably more than 75 studies. Uh, but clinical studies, for those who don't understand what they're about, is it's the way that new medications and treatments gain FDA approval for widespread use and also for widespread coverage by insurance companies. There are a lot of treatments out there, stem cell treatments and PRP treatments that patients can receive, but they're not approved, so insurance doesn't cover them. And they can get very expensive for a lot of patients. Um, and it's also like the studies that you're hearing now every day about treatments for COVID, all these new medications that may be approved for one thing, but aren't yet approved for COVID because they haven't been shown to be uh, efficacious and safety hasn't been proven as well. So once they're approved, then they're released to the general public. But once studies get beyond the initial safety profile, the next step is to prove that they work. So you need first a small group of patients in what we call a phase two study that you can at least show that it works for the problem you're, you're using it for. And then if that works, the FDA then lets you go ahead to phase three studies, which can be these multi-center, international, five, six, 700, or several thousand patient studies to really show both what the efficacy is and also the complete safety profile. How many patients just get itchiness or get nausea or a stomach upset and things like that, which only come out when there's thousands of patients uh, being treated. So with participation in these studies, we can offer patients the latest state-of-the-art treatment that are not available to the general public. And best of all, it doesn't cost them anything. Unlike all of these stem cell treatments, if you're in one of our stem cell studies and you're approved for treatment, it doesn't cost you anything. And in fact, you get paid to be in the study for your time and your travel. So we've done studies for arthritis of the hip and the knee, the shoulder, uh, rotator cuff studies, uh, stem cell studies, cartilage reconstruction, and different type of orthopedic implants. And they vary, of course, um, depending on uh, what study we're doing right now. We generally do anywhere from five to 10 studies at a time that may, may be going on for two or three years. But it's very interesting to see some of the stuff and being able to offer it to our patients is something that's kind of unique in a non-academic setting. Wow, that is, that's fascinating. I love to hear about new technologies and, and new clinical studies that are happening, especially right here in our, in our neck of the woods. Tell us about a study you find particularly interesting and unusual. Um, well, I think the most unusual one, the most memorable one was one that uh, we call the honeybee venom study. And basically it was a study for knee arthritis that required uh, increasing injections, numbers of injections of honeybee venom, just subcutaneously, just under the skin with a little tiny needle. But it started out with one injection and three the next week and then uh, five, all the way up to uh, 20 injections per visit for 22 visits. So patients were getting like little bee stings with a needle, first around their knee, then also up and down their back. And this went on for, we did the study for about two years. And it was based on the fact that they noticed that beekeepers who were stung by bees had relief in their arthritis. So a company in, in Korea created a sterile honey bee venom injection. And this was uh, uh, the, the study that, like I said, it was like stinging people with honeybees, but without actually putting bees on them. So definitely a unique study and one that I will never forget. Wow, that's, very interesting. that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that was very cool. That was fun. <laughs> that is cool. 
So now with the current global pandemic, many clinicians are now having to rely on telemedicine as a way of seeing and treating patients. Can you tell our listeners how you have adapted to these changes? Yeah, well, uh, this has been an eye opener for all of us, needless to say. Um, we weren't sure we were going to be open once everything started shutting down and we, we tried to figure out how to do it. So uh, telemedicine is certainly one way, but it's very limiting in terms of what you can do to be able to touch and examine a patient. You can't do an injection. You can't do an x-ray over telemedicine. So we're a little bit more limited. So what we decided to do is um, we decided to at least cut our hours back, be open every day during the week from nine to three to see patients. We keep our walk-in open until 3, 3 uh, p.m. every day. And we follow the CDC guidelines. We wear masks, we wear gloves, we try to use protective, um, uh, protective items, uh, personal uh, protection. And uh, we do as much telemedicine as we can and that patients are willing to do. Uh, we use uh, either FaceTime or we use an app called Doxy, which allows us to do virtual uh, visits. Um, we can't do much in the way of elective surgeries, so we do surgeries when they're necessary. I have two, two surgeries I have to do tomorrow, fractures that have to be done, we're allowed to do, but they all have to go through a clearance process to be approved. Um, we're now just starting to do remote physical therapy under the supervision of our therapists. And we're e even incorporating an interactive virtual therapy website, which uh, can be used with any cell phone or uh, smartphone, a tablet, or any computer that has a, uh, a webcam. Uh, it follows patients' movements. It makes sure the patient is doing all the exercises and it corrects them if, they, if their body position is incorrect. So it's actually very interesting, but it's still a very early uh, platform. Uh, but luckily for patients who are homebound, Medicare patients, who need hands-on therapy, then we can send therapists to their house with Trilogy Home Health. Uh, so they can actually provide that hands-on um, care, physical therapy care for those patients in the comfort and the safety of their own home. And we do recommend that a lot of our older patients who are told to shelter in place, to shelter in place. And then we rely on Trilogy to be able to provide that other link so that they're not losing ground when therapy is a necessity. That's fantastic. So we're running a little bit short on time here, but what advice uh, can you give our listeners who are experiencing any orthopedic musculoskeletal pain issues that are not being resolved with your traditional other than counter medications or, and yeah. clearly want to stay away from e the ER due to the global pandemic? Well, the first thing is everybody looks at the internet. So patients go to the internet. We try to provide some patient education and videos at our website, which is accessible and free to all. Um, if it's not enough, we can always do a telemedicine visit and determine a course of treatment. And if we need to do further evaluation, like examining them or x-rays, MRIs, then we have to have them come in for a visit. But our walk-in is not an ER. We don't treat respiratory patients, COVID patients. So at least there's a modicum of safety there that they can avoid the ER and we'll still be able to see them. Well, I want to thank you for all your explanations, Dr. Schrock, and um, I want to thank you, Stephanie, as well. Um, please, would you let let our listeners and viewers know how they can get a hold of you? Yeah, sure. They can call our office line. Uh, we have two lines, 954-715-7472 is our walk-in number. Our regular office number is 954-764-8033. And they can go to our websites. We have two. One is orthowalkinclinic.com. Very simple. The other one is ftfortlauderdaleortho.com. And of course, there's uh, uh, Facebook and Instagram. They can find us there as well. Or they can Google my name, Dr. Yeah, Kevin Schrock or Dr. Matthew you. Wells, and they'll find us one way or the other. Uh, but again, be safe out there. And hopefully at the end of all of this, um, we'll be able to pick right back up and continue taking care of patients and continue using Trilogy to help our patients when we need somebody to go to them so they can be our eyes and ears after surgery and when we can't get the patients in directly. So I thank you for all your good help for, with our patients over the years. Thank you, doctor. Very interesting. Thank you. Yeah. Stephanie, did you want to add anything? Uh, just uh, thanking uh, Dr. Shock for being on with us. Very interesting uh, things you had to say. It was a really great interview. And uh, thank you so much for all you do for the community. And we're happy to work together Thanks, with you. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you for having me. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you, thank Yolanda. You thank you. Thank you both for coming on and, and coming on to the show. And thank you for this interview. It's really informative and it's wonderful work that you're doing, Dr. Schrock. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. 
Stay safe. Thank you. Trilogy Home Health Care invites you to call our offices before making a decision about your home health and rehabilitative care. Different from other agencies, Trilogy offers specialized service that other agencies don't, providing exceptional care. That's who we are and what we do. Call us at 866-599-4959 or go to TrilogyHomeHealthCare.com.